Hello everybody. I'm back again for the fourth installment of the rotisserie build for the 1969 Chevy Nova project. Um, if you've watched the little series I've made, uh, you've seen my progress fabricating this uh, rotisserie from scratch. Uh, I've been winging it all the way through but it's coming together my next step is going to make it into one that is jackable that it will jack up into position and I've got my pieces cut for that to get it mounted on the rotisserie I've got the base plate and gussets that are going to support it that's my uh, hydraulic ram. Uh, it's three tons, so there'll be three tons on each side, which will be uh, more than sufficient. I don't think the stripped out chassis of this uh, Nova is gonna weigh close to that, so three tons per side, I think will be fine. So I'll take you along as we go. Uh, I'm just getting started here for the day. I got to get these things tacked in somehow. It's going to be tricky. Uh, so let me get them tacked in and then we'll bring you back. Cheers. Okay, so I got these uh, gussets. I keep forgetting the names of them. Gussets. What you call it? tacked in and how this is going to work is this is going to go up here and be a base plate for the jack and these shall uh, oops these will give it support like so so I'm just going to get all this welded in I just wanted to show you guys how that's uh, my plan, how I'm going to work it out. Alrighty, so we'll bring you back uh, when I got more done. Cheers. So I just got that. Uh, base plate tacked in right now but I just giving you an idea of what I'm doing here so that jacks gonna go and uh, sit in between the top and bottom of this rotisserie I'm gonna be cutting that rotisserie in half and putting an insert slider bar inside and as I go along, I'll, I'll take you along and show you what I'm doing. But I just wanted to give you a shot of, of what, what it's going to look like and the idea behind it. Cheers. Hey guys, thought I'd weld up this uh, piece to the rotisserie now. And bring you guys along while I'm doing it. I just got to make sure that the I got to go grab a bolt and make sure it clears the gusset. It's really close here at the bot where the gussets almost coincide with these bolt holes, but I just made it. Yeah, I'm good. Okay, cool. So I got it tacked in. Let me make sure it's level. Well, I got a chance. Oh yeah, it's easy. Perfect. Thank you. 
clogged up. I find what works for uh, keeping your tip clean is just dip it in some Vaseline. It really helps. Like that's the first time I've had to clean it in a in a long stretch now. Okay, let's uh, get to welding here. Okay. I grabbed these cowhide leather gloves, believe it or not, from the dollar store up the road. They were a little stiff. But I've been uh, oiling the palms and working them in and they're getting good. But they're nice and thick. Good for welding. I don't like too heavy a glove for welding. But these are uh, working out pretty good and I only paid a buck for them even better. Fill up a gap over in this corner first. Enough. 
I gotta take this off and uh, tip this thing upside down. Oh, I wanted to show you guys something. I don't know if I've showed you yet. I uh, drilled and tapped a hole here and put this uh, grade 8 uh, button head bolt in. So now she can only go back so far. And I'm going to uh, do the same thing up here. So she can't slide out on me ever. Until I want it to. So yeah, I just drilled and topped a hole quick. And then uh, also I went and put a bracket in here. I don't know if you could see that from the glare of the the light. Oh, there we go. That's better. Yeah, so put a bracket in there. This thing's going to be doing a 360 with the car on it. Um, I'm going to try to only uh, tip it very little. Uh, like, I'll put it on its side, but as far as a full 360, uh, as little as possible. <laughs> But uh, I think with all the gussets in there, and uh, I will put some heavy weld in, and that bracket, I think will be be okay. So any ways, guys, I'll bring you back when uh, I got some more done. Cheers. Okay, here goes nothing. I'm gonna chop this. Uh rotisserie right here and that way I'm going to be able to uh, jack it up kind of uh, scary doing this but oh well it's the only way to jack it up and I need it to jack up so Hey guys, back again. Just showing you my idea I got for uh, jacking up this rotisserie. I'm still milling a few ideas over um, with where the jack is actually going to connect on top. Right now I have these brackets in right here. I may weld in and use these brackets or I might have it coming straight up 
and pushing on the end of the rotisserie. Um, so let me show you what's going on, how it works. Anyways, this goes out to Busy B. Um, this is my idea here for adding the jack. You could do the same thing to yours by adding a bottle jack or a ram jack, whatever you want to call it. It's just a tall bottle jack is what it is. Um, to the back of your rotisserie because I believe yours separates here. What I've done is I've cut this rotisserie in half right here and I've put an insert bar, a slider bar. So now, She jacks up nice. So yeah, that's sort of the idea. If you're catching that, just deciding how I'm going to connect it on top is all. Anyways, guys, cheers. I'll get back to you when I've uh, made my final decision on where I'm connecting this. Uh, whether it be on top there or with those brackets. Cheers. Hey guys, back again. Uh, B, I wanted to show you this. If I don't use the brackets that I just had in there and do it this way, here's my second option. When I'm trying to figure out which way I'm going to do it. But... Just to give you an idea of what's going on, this would just come up. Like so. You get the idea so let me know what you think anyways um, if it's uh, something that you would think would work for you um, I don't know but this is what I'm gonna be doing uh, I think it would work for you because I think yours separates in the middle here too so anyways guys hope everyone's having a great day um, GJ, I got 20 subscribers now. So I want to thank everybody who subscribed to my channel. 20 subscribers. Am I, I'm super happy. Um, the last few days I've had uh, quite a few um, subscribers uh, uh, add me to their account. So anyways, 
guys, thank you very much. Uh, I will be putting out more and more videos. Hopefully, I'll be on to this car soon. But right now, it's this rotisserie, and uh, basically, I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to make this thing work, and that's what we're doing. Anyways, hope everyone's having a great night. Uh, it's about 8 o'clock uh, on uh, Tuesday, September, what is it, the 6th today or the 5th? September 5th, I believe. All right, let's see if this thing goes down on its own. Sweet. Voila. All right. Cheers, guys. Okay, guys. I got this uh, rotisserie buttoned up. It's uh, pretty much done. Uh, I got the jacket system figured out. Uh, I just welded up uh, this uh, support right here. And that's how this thing lifts. I'll show you. Just double make sure it's recording. Okay. Yeah, so this bracket I built up here. Put the slider bar in. So that's uh, pretty much a wrap. It's working good. And we'll lift my car up to the right height. So she jacked up a long ways. So that's basically it guys. Pretty neat, eh? Yeah, so that's my jacking system. That's how it's going to stay. Uh, let me know what you think. Cheers.